Hello Pacific League fans, it's time for a Pacific League highlight. Five-time All-Star and five-time strikeout leader Takahiro Norimoto is on the hill for the Eagles, but former MVP Tomoya Mori really doesn't care who's on the hill and promptly hits a double in the first inning. Norimoto doesn't have to worry for long as he strikes out Keita Nakagawa on four pitches to end the first. Pitching for Oryx is Shunpei Yamashita, who's in his third year of professional baseball with the Buffaloes. Strikes out the first batter that he faces, but then gives up a double down the right field line to Hiroto Kobukata. Phillies fans wondering where Michael Franco went should look here to see him grounding out the former Astros player Marwan Gonzalez. There's a lot of talk about fork balls and ghost forks these days, and Marwan Gonzalez has enough of it as he takes this one to right field for a two-run shot to put the Buffaloes up in the third inning. Fun fact, a little walk you do after you hit a no-doubter, the Japanese word for it translates to confidence walking, and I really don't think Norimoto wanted me to talk about that. Norimoto settles back down to get two strikeouts the next inning. He keeps to only a two-run deficit and hopes that Rockton can bounce back for him. Yamashita gets in some trouble in his bottom half of the fourth inning by giving up a hit to Michael Franco and hitting Hiroaki Shima Uchi. But a pair of strikeouts on Tsuyoshi Yamasaki and Ryosuke Tatsumi get him out of trouble in the fourth. Do you remember a bit earlier in the game when we talked about fork balls? Well, Norimoto tried it against Gonzalez again, and he just proceeded to hit this one a mile as well. Norimoto would stay in the game for a bit longer, but a pair of walks to Mori and Sugimoto causes him to get pulled for Yuge Hayato. And Norimoto's day comes to an end. He's given up five hits, three runs, two walks, struck out six batters, and he's responsible for the two men on. But Hayato gets out of the inning with no more runs scored and officially ends Norimoto's line for the night. In the top of the 7th inning, Rockton reliever Satoshi Miyamori enters the game and pitches a clean frame. A ground out and a pair of strikeouts keep the game within reach for Rockton. Yamazaki gets in some trouble in the bottom of the 7th. He allows a hit and a walk, but a flyout and two strikeouts keep Rockton scoreless for the game. Veteran reliever Sung Cha Hao enters the game for Rockton in the top of the eighth. Keita Nakagawa knocks a slider in the left field for a double to bring in Marwan Gonzalez. It's now 4 0 Oryx. Everyone's favorite Fist of the North Star fan, Yutaro Sugimoto, hits a fastball at center field. to make it a 6 0 game and put the game permanently out of reach for Rockton. That's Sugimoto's fourth home run of the year and his fourth row post of the year. Hitomi Honda comes into the game for Orcs to close it out. Rockton's able to get two base runners against him, but a pair of strikeouts close the door and make it a 6-0 ball game for Oryx.